Welcome to Excel Lookup Function Series number five. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series 1 to 15. Hey, this number five, you are not going to believe what we're going to do here. We're actually going to build the table into the formula so you don't even have to have a lookup table sitting in the cells. And we're going to see how to have the VLOOKUP function look on a different sheet. Let's start. I'm going to actually um, build a VLOOKUP based on this table here. And then I'm going to compare that method to actually putting the table into the formula. And it's going to seem, seem pretty strange. But let's start right here. I'm actually going to blow this up real big here. All right, what I want to do is randomly select names. And I'm going to use not only the VLOOKUP, but the Rand between function. Now there's some notes up here for 2003 and 2007. In 2003, you would actually have to add the analysis tool pack under tools menu uh, and uh, add ins analysis tool pack. All right, let's see how to do this. So I'm going to say equals v lookup, and our goal here is to randomly select from this list of names. And the way we're going to do that, instead of having a lookup value, we're going to use rand between. Rand, rand between is our first argument. The bottom is going to be 1, comma, the top will be 4, close parentheses. Now look what this will do. This will randomly, I can't get this to fit on the screen. There we go. What this is going to do, this VLOOKUP right here, instead of actually looking in some cell for a value, it'll randomly generate numbers between 1 and 4. So this is what we have in the first column of our VLOOKUP table. So it'll, it'll generate those numbers randomly. Now, VLOOKUP, we have our lookup value, which is ran between 1 to 4. I'm going to very carefully click right there or up here, and then put comma. Now, the table array, we're just going to highlight this. In our next example, we'll see how to not highlight it and actually type these values into the formula. It'll be pretty strange. All right, and now we're going to say comma and 2. The column index is 2 because we want to randomly pick numbers from here. Now, um, I'm going to use the default. Here, 1 or false would work here because we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to backspace. And if you're going to use the default, you don't have to put that fourth argument in. I'm going to close parentheses and clo uh, control enter. Now I can use my F9 key to randomly uh, recalculate. You can see I'm randomly selecting names. Now let's see how to do this. Um, I'm going to hit F2 here. I'm going to copy this whole formula right like that. Control C, Escape, and then I'm going to click in this cell and Control V. And then I'm going to put this cell into edit mode with the F2 key. Now I'm going to highlight this right here and I'm going to show you how to actually, with uh, array syntax, show you how to create this table actually in the formula. And when you would use this is when you don't have room in your spreadsheet for a big table, for a table like this. You wouldn't want to type it in with a big table. You don't have room, or you don't want someone to actually see the table somewhere. Or where I use it is in named formulas. All right, here's how it works. Curly brackets. Yeah, you have to find the curly bracket key, which is kind of below the backspace key and to the left. There's square brackets and curly brackets. We need curly brackets. So the first entry is a curly bracket. And then since we need to simulate this table, ones are in the this first column, names are in the second column. One would be here in uh, this column. Sue would be in this column, and then the next row would go to two and three. Here's how it works. You type one, and since we want to have simulate this, this column, then this column, you separate columns with commas. And then you, in quotes, would type Sue, end quotes. So that's our first entry. Right, curly brackets, and then that syntax right there represents a row of data with the comma separating column entries. Then you use semicolon. 
that says go to a new root row. The way I remember it is I always remember comma starts with a C, so that's the column. And then I just remember semicolon is the other one, which is for row. So that's it. We have our first row of data. Now we need to do our next one. Two, comma for column, in quotes. And then the next person is Fred, end quote semicolon and then so we have our this row and this row now because we have two semicolons now let's do our next one three comma in quotes chin end quote semicolon so now we have our first row our second row our third row now let's do our fourth row fourth and final row four comma and in quotes Sheila Dawn I don't know how to spell Sheila Dawn. You better know how to spell when you're typing this in. Spell check is not going to actually check this when we enter it as a form. Actually, you can hit the F7 key when you're in edit mode like this, and it'll spell check. And then end quote. And then end curly bracket. And that's how you simulate in a formula a table of data. I'm going to control enter. And then I'm going to hit uh, F9 to randomize. And there you go. That silly little syntax there, curly brackets, commas, and semicolons. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how to uh, create a VLOOKUP but have the table not on this sheet. Now, I'm going to actually copy this little table right here, Control-C, and then I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to insert a new sheet, Shift-F11. And then I'm going to double-click this sheet one and call it uh, table 1, enter, and then I'm going to click in cell A1 and control V, and then I'm going to go up to the name box and name it. And that's the trick. You got to name it so that you can uh, easily, you could do sheet references but you, uh, and click on the sheet, but naming it is much easier. I'm going to put name, enter. There it is, name. Now when I'm over here, I'm going to click in this cell right here. Uh, um, this is going to be number for employee, and this will be employee, and I'm actually going to highlight all of those. I'm going to control one for format cells. Control one opens format cells slow on my computer. Border, outside, that puts it around the outside. By the way, if you didn't know that, that's around the outside. No lines on the inside. And this one doesn't on the inside. So all the, the rows and columns. Click OK. Now I'm just going to put 2 here. And now I'm going to do my VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Open parenthesis. My lookup value is going to be there. Comma. I forgot what my name is. So I'm going to hit the F3 key. That's paste name. Oh, yeah, name. So I'm going to double click name. Comma 2. I don't need that fourth argument here, close parentheses, control, enter. Now if I change this to one, it'll look up Sue. So that's a convenient way when you have, uh, you're have you using VLOOKUP and you want to have the table on a different sheet. You could e even right click, uh, hide this, boop, and it would still work. So, oh, what happened to it? Oh, it's hidden. In the new version, you can just right click unhide. All right, uh, so that's a little bit more about VLOOKUP, how to do that funny thing with the uh, uh, curly brackets and build the array into formula, and how to use the VLOOKUP with a name so that it's easy to look on a different sheet. All right, we'll see you next. Look up series.